Hello and welcome. To this video, I added some shake effects whenever I hit an enemy. You might not be able to see it, but we'll, you will see it much better later. We are going to add shake effects to videos in Shortcut. Here's another example before and now after. If you don't have Shortcut yet, I have a video in which I explain how to download it for free, legally. If you already have Shortcut, make sure by going to Help and About Shortcut that your version is 1809.16 or higher than that. If it's uh, sooner than that, uh, smaller than that, then it will not work because the features are not in earlier versions than 1809.16. Also, make sure that in Settings, the GPU Effects feature is off. Currently, in this version at least, this will not work if you enable GPU effects, unfortunately. In case your interface looks different, you might want to go to View, Layout and Restore Default Layout. I'm going to remove Audio Peak Meter and uh, Recent, and I'm going to also hide the toolbar. Now I'm just going to quickly set up a project to which we later will add the shake effect. So what I'm doing is I'm moving the clips to the source viewer, then drag them to the timeline splitting them with S and uh, rearranging them by dragging them and right click removing clips I don't need. Okay, so what we have here now are two skating videos with two climaxes, one climax each. I added some music to the climaxes, but the shake is missing. Without it, it doesn't really feel that epic. All right, so once you know the exact point at which the shake is supposed to start, navigate to that point. Uh, select the clip you're gonna use the shake effect on and press S or use this icon, split at playhead. I'm gonna press S. All right, so now we have two clips. While this one is selected, uh, the one which has, uh, is supposed to shake, go to View, Filters. They already enabled? Oh, never mind. Don't go to View. Instead, make sure that it is selected with the red uh, border. And in this area here, filters go to the plus and just type a size and select the size and position filter. Very nice. Okay, and here in the preset, select shake one second scaled. All right. And now we're going to do the same with the other video clip. And here I'm going to split with S and I'm going to select this part and press the plus and go for size again. Click it and this time I'm going to use the unscaled shake one second filter. The preview is extremely slow. So let me just uh, render this real quick for you so you can see this uh, live. I'm going to go to view, export, and export file. All right, shake out one. We're gonna have to wait for the job to complete. All right, then here's the result. Bam. Okay, that was a bit weird. And bam. So now you were able to see the difference between these two effects. One shakes the whole screen without changing the borders. And the other shakes the scene with black borders. Now you also notice that after one second the uh, effect or filter ends, that's because this is how long it lasts. Unfortunately, that's the only options we have right now in filters, the preset for one second. We can circumvent this by just splitting the clip after one second or less. Uh, let's see, how can we make sure that that time frame... Okay, we can actually... Yeah, we can drag it and then when we notice that the position values do not change, we know the, fil the filter is over. All right, let's split it here. Now, you might be fooled by the fact that this filter already exists, but you have to whoop, apply the shake a preset again, or else it will have the keyframes in negative time space, whatever. Okay, we're just gonna be lazy and split again. Shake one... What, what's going on here? Defaults. Shake one second. And split again. And uh, defaults. Shake one second. And this should give us continuous shaking. It's shaking here. 
It's shaking here. It's shaking here. It's okay. It's shaking there. I'm just going to do the same over here. Let's see how much uh, this is still shaking, but here it stops. All right. Preset unscaled. And for good measure, preset defaults, preset unscaled. Okay. By ver varying the length of the clips, you can also uh, give variation because otherwise it will be a continuous repetition of the same effect, or the same shaking. But if you have them at different uh, sizes, then it's not a continuous loop of the same exact steps. All right. Uh, I think this we need to see. So let's. Let's just make another export. All right, let's take a look. And it's shaking, 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 shaking nicely. And it's shaking, 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 shaking nicely. Very nice. This is pretty much it. That's how you do shaking effects and control their length in the free and open source video editor shortcut. I love this. This is a great new effect. Now, there's just one thing I want to show you here. This is the uh, first-person shooter game video that I showed you in the beginning. And if you have a lot of shakes, for example, if you make a video game and each hit you want to ex accentuate uh, with a shake, I have a little trick for you in case you didn't know. Instead of adding this filter manually each time by pressing the clip, going to filters uh, while well, it's selected, Going to the plus, pressing size, pressing size and position, and then selecting the drop down. Instead of doing that, you can just do it once. Uh, here, I'm gonna do this for this clip. After I split, okay, size, here we go. Preset, shake, one second scaled. I prefer the scaled one. And uh, that's it. And now we just hit this, copy the filters, click. And now we click on the next clip and click on paste filters, click on the next clip, click on paste filters, click on the next clip, click on paste filters, click on the next clip, click on paste filters. And this way you have this applied to all of them. And it actually works. There is no time issue with, uh, well, with the time being also copied directly. The time is relative. So it always happens at the beginning of each clip. But that's a neat little trick. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more Shotcut and other tutorials. If you need specific tutorials, ask for them in the comments of this video. I will see you next time. Until then, ciao!